with well, a thousand cameras all around? I mean, that's... Edelman's the one with the phone in his hands. I obviously don't know whose phone it is. I, we didn't see who actually made the call. Uh, I would imagine Brady didn't wasn't the one who made the call. Brady's aware enough to know he's probably used to being videotaped at all times when he's in public. So Edelman maybe didn't realize this was going to show up on shows like this, but Brady probably did. If Edelman's trying to recruit him, I wouldn't call up and FaceTime the guy who is maybe... He's no, saying, like, oh, he's not coming. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that is no, maybe that's exactly what it was. I do think... If you, and people in Nashville are going to be upset with me, this is not an, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, okay? This is not an indictment on Midwest or small towns or this anything. If you remove the city from it, the Titans are a perfect fit. They have a great running game. Ouch. They have, you don't like Nashville? Well, no. <laughs> How do you not like Nashville? Oh, my How don't God. You really Nashville? nice people. Nashville's oh, a great no, no, guy. I know what you're saying. Okay, oh, go on. Just I, football. We're just, just talking football. pure football. Yeah, I mean, the 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 Bucks would have made a lot of sense for LeBron a year ago, but he, he wasn't going to go He's not there. going to Milwaukee. And so it, it's tough to make that sell. But if you just football, they have a great running game. I think they have a star wide receiver in A.J. Brown. Now, I don't know if he will look with Brady, but with Daniel, he looked awesome. They have Corey Davis, who once upon a time was a top eight pick of a draft. He hasn't fully realized his potential, but it has an amazing skill set. Maybe the best running back in football, a great left tackle. We'll see what happens with Conklin, their other tackle that's going to hit free agency. A good defense. They beat the Patriots in the playoffs in Foxborough last year. So from a purely football perspective... I think they make a ton of sense, and that doesn't even include the relationship Brady has with Vrabel, which is clearly a close one. So because of family stuff and city and weather and all that, I don't think he's going there. But if you're right and I'm wrong, that his family is going to have no say in this, it's purely a Tom Brady decision, the Titans make a ton of sense for him, Coach. Yeah, I don't think it, it makes a lot of sense at all. And it's not because of the city. The city is a, a great place to, to, to play. And the fit is a great is a great fit. It's probably culturally as close to New England as, as anybody has gotten to this point. And, and Mike brings a very different um, flavor and, 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 and impact because he played and, and he's got that perspective. But I don't think you want to do business with friends. And, and you talked about the... The difficulty that New England would have in cutting Tom Brady. Now, what if Mike Vrabel has to cut Tom Brady after a year? And Mike is in a situation where you know they had Marcus Mariota, a high draft pick, that didn't work out, and they switch and they have the comeback player of the year, and and things go pretty yep. well. And now you're going to bring in potentially a guy for a year or two years. It's not really building for the long term. So I think that that could actually be be ugly as opposed to be a, a, a positive. So you're thing saying Vrabel wouldn't be able to move off of Tom Brady if things went sour, and that's a reason not to even bring him on. Well, I just think whenever you do business with friends, that then you, it can it can get cloudy. And and one of the greatest things about New England, and one of the greatest things about Bill Belichick, he has is no when friends. There there are no friendships there. It's a it's purely economics, and he makes business decisions and when you do that you're doing what's in the best interest of the organization and and that's ultimately what you want to your your, your team to be able to do hmm. we talked about this this morning you don't think tom brady's enjoying this whole free agency no it looks period. like i i think that he hates this it looks like he, he looks you think he loves this yeah he's not he's not like a egomaniac seeking Attention! If he was, he'd, he'd be doing every commercial in the world. He'd be out at does every a fair amount of commercials. What, no, he what, doesn't. What, what, give me for being, one for the being the greatest month. quarterback of all oh, time. Oh, he did the one did... Super Bowl commercial. He did the, uh, he, I mean, and, and he pimped it a couple days before the Super oh, Bowl. Stop. Oh. And he, he posted one picture. He didn't do anything. He posted one picture. What's what's his social media? It's like him working. It's like Jen him walking like him at okay, the gym. Settle down. You know what? Why did I you, get you know what? No, I should like I should be fair. Bone it's broth. not like he's done his own Facebook television show. That's only wait. It's not like he's wait wait. Come on. Hold so you think he's I enjoying all this? Of course it's he's not enjoying it. Like good. It's not he like he's the greatest it. quarterback in the Thank history you. of but the this NFL. Is, this is where does what what does he do? One commercial for every Super Bowl win? Hold on. Also Sorry. Edelman also hold, did a documentary. Hold on. Yeah, well Edelman's obviously an egomaniac, but that's fine. Like I, th this is where these conversations get tough because people assume I'm assigning a negative value to things because the public assigns negative value to them. I never do. I got no problem with guys getting attention. I got no problem with guys doing commercials. I got no problem with greats saying, you know what, I'm pretty bleeping great. Everyone should look at me for a little bit. And if you're Tom Brady and you've spent 20 years in a football version of boot camp where it's never about fun, 
where you win a Super Bowl and you celebrate for three days and then you move on to the next thing. And then you win another one. Yeah, no, I'm not, Coach, I'm not saying it's That's not fun. effective. I'm not saying it's not effective. What I am saying is that if you're Brady, where you have had to for 20 years it, it, have, a, have a coach treat you like one of 53, not like you're the greatest quarterback ever, where for 20 years you have put yourself beneath the team for the betterment of the team, it is totally reasonable to say, you know what, I haven't been recruited since college. I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm going to enjoy in a, in, a, in a time where Patrick Mahomes is the flavor of the month and Lamar Jackson was, and people are talking about a lot of guys who all combined don't have the success I have. I'm going to sit here and stew in it a little bit because I like it. Wait, it's hey, human. He, there was a report a he's not popping into towns. That's why the teams are coming to him. He doesn't want the attention. Yeah, he doesn't want to be a distraction. He just wants to win games. Okay, Nick. That's Dur it. Durant oh, stayed in one place as well. We think he didn't like the attention. Durant, hold Durant's up in different. the Hamptons. Durant's different. Oh, okay. Hamptons I, five. Okay, yeah, the so Hamptons. Nick, Nick, Nick is making this argument that Tom Brady's having a midlife crisis. No, so, I'm so for 20 years, he followed a formula that was incredibly successful that put him in a place that no other athlete has been able to, to, to get to. He has won a, a record amount of games. He has, he has redefined the we'll position. Just, I mean, but fantastic. after 20 years, suddenly he's going to buy a convertible and go do 8 million commercials and, 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 and get all this attention that he's never needed or wanted. Well, why? Why, do you why, say why is it never so wanted it? Because I was there. I was there. with the guy. Like I, I saw him. I, I, I know who there. he is. Coach, you don't think there's a there's an element of Tom that maybe has evolved over the last decade that has changed? We we I see Russell Wilson was one guy when he came out of Wisconsin. He was one guy. He dressed one way. He was married to a lady. He was he was and then success and fame and money and now and this is not a value judgment. He seems to be a little different. Russ, Russ dresses a little different. He talks a little different. He acts a little different. He carries himself a little no, different. No, but what's what, what's but the thing we know about he, Tom Brady? Tom Brady wants to he wants to hone in. He wants to sit down and focus and start figuring out where he's going to be and what the game plan is going to be, what the offense is going to be, and where he's going to park. He, he wants all of that. He craves all of that information. I do agree with you. I, I don't think he. I don't think he How lives for this you moment. You said we know that. Well, we, saw we, it on, that? we saw that. We saw it on, on Tom versus Time. How much he absolutely craves getting up every morning and sitting there and studying film. He's a product you don't of think that routine. That, you think that will change if he changes teams? I'm not saying he's going to go to L.A. and start playing beach volleyball. He, he go to L.A. and guess what? He'll, he'll watch film and he'll learn. And he'll practice, and he'll study. But maybe he'll do it somewhere where they pay him his value and where the coach says, Tom, listen, uh, we have a way we do things around here. We hope you do it the exact same way, but you're Tom Brady, so you can you, you tell us how you'd like to do things. Because all I know is this. In every other realm of the entertainment industry, guys at some point start walking around saying, you know what, I'm Denzel Washington. I maybe used to show up when everyone else shows up, but now... You know when when, when the when the when the call time is when I get here. Now maybe Tom is totally different and will never change. Everyone else that I've ever seen has. So I, I don't know. He's I think he's enjoying it, and I don't blame him for enjoying it. It's not bad to enjoy it. I I would enjoy it. I think it's awesome that he's enjoying. Well, it's going to be a while, so just settle yeah, down with yeah. when that's going to yeah. happen with you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.